Mr. Wagner, what is your message to European businesses here from, uh, from Italy, from Free Week? From Free Week, it's let's have a look into the future for disruptive solutions, some revolution in space. What does it mean, revolution in space? Space, all space is revolutionary. Yeah, but we are trying to use new technologies in space, coming also from other areas. So, for instance, artificial intelligence, which is uh, in uh, other areas already used. So we would like to use it also in the field of Earth observation and in space. So um, really a revolution with uh, all the different applications. What is your message to the ministers uh, for November, the ministers of research? Yes, the ministers in November will decide about the future of not only some programs, more or less also about the future of ESA as the European Space Agency covering 22 member states. And we are really, our intention is to build up the industry in all 22 member states and uh, we need a clear message from the ministers, a European message. What is the European message? What is not enough today? Uh, do you need more funds or do you need more? Uh, what kind of support do you need more? It's interesting that we are not asking for more funds. Uh, everybody no? would expect that we are asking for more funds. No, we are looking for projects which are really covered by then by several member states from the very north and to the very south, from Estonia and Finland maybe in, in the north to Italy and Spain and the south. And this is the beauty of ESA, that we have instruments where we can connect all these different member states through our method, which is called the G-Return. So if a member state is paying for a certain project, they are eligible to get back industrial contracts in their country. And that means we, are, we have competition, we are, have strong competition, that's good, but at the same time we have a cooperation. Competition is a driver, cooperation is an enabler, and both is in the DNA of ESA. What about businesses? How to make ESA closer to European businesses? We have now in the future more programs which are directly linked to industry. We had in the past, at the beginning, ESA was doing all the program management, etc., everything within ESA. And then we started with public-private partnership with industry, first in telecommunication, then in earth observation and, and also in uh, launches. And now we are looking to the next step, meaning also buying a service from industry where we say we need a special product, a special service, please provide us uh, with a good idea. What do you expect from new, uh, when they will be launched, six new satellites of Copernicus and what do you expect how which will improve the system? Copernicus is part of space infrastructure, as Galileo is and as also other satellites is. So therefore, we expect that we are now doing the preparational preparation. We are, with ESA money, with the money of our member states, we are developing new satellites and then uh, the EU takes over these new developments and uh, is paying the recurrent satellites so that we have a full fleet of Earth observation satellites covering all the different aspects of Earth, especially climate change.